welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in my business planner. Let me just pop these out. Slide this to the side. And let's get prepped for the month of June. Here we are midway through the year. And I still have a ton of goals that I want to achieve. Granted, I did have a couple of setbacks. Oh, these are the washies that I'm going to be using. I know I'm going super small with this, but I could not pass up the opportunity to use it, basically. So, I'm going to use this as my banner washi, and I'm just using the top of the page as my guide to go across to make sure I have everything nice and smooth and amazing. Now, granted, you could use scissors if you want, but I just like to keep it simple and use the card. And then we have this side. I'm just going to go right across again. Bam. Smooth it out. Cut it off. And we got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So what I'm going to do is use my scissors to cut off the excess. Yeah, scissors come out anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Oh gosh. All right. So with this awashi, as you can see, it's super tiny. So basically what we're going to be doing is going right on the line so let me just find the start because you know that's like my biggest issue never been able to find the beginning oh but it wasn't that bad this time haha -ha. now honestly because this washi does have the foiling in it i feel like it would be in my best interest to use the scissors I got a little crooked there. To use the scissors to cut it as opposed to trying to tear it like I normally would. And also because it's so thin. So I'm just going better safe than sorry right now. Bam. So I don't want to bend it out of shape. I don't want it to get all funky. So that's why I'm just cutting it. It just makes it so much easier, to be honest. There we go. Now, being as how also that this is so much smaller than the washi I normally use to frame out my um, weeks, and I'll show you in comparison. So this is what this here is what I normally use to frame my weeks. Of course, this is what we're using this week. You can see the size difference is crazy. Now, because this is so much smaller, I'm not gonna go up the side. So I'm just going to leave it going across. Something different. Very, very different for me as well. And I think change is nice. I don't want to have the same, you know, template, I guess is what you can call it, of a look every month. So that's why I'm doing it like this. Which also reminds me that I forgot to go across the top. So think of it as like an interior um, designing how you would have like an open shelf concept in like a kitchen or a bathroom. So basically that's what I'm doing here. I'm having an open line concept. And I think it'll be pretty cool. Bam. All right, see? So that is as far as we're gonna go on this one. And slide on over to the next page. Now, I picked this because I like the play on colors. So there's orange up here. 
a little orange and the washi and then of course who doesn't like a little gold haha -ha. Here we go. Now, the first starts on Saturday. So that gives us quite a few days to get creative with. And to just add something different, truthfully. And I am going to definitely play that up. Oh, what's going on there? Bam. And last but not least, we're going straight across the bottom. And then it is sticker time. Haha, <laughs> okay. So, let's move the scissors. So, here we go for the start. And just so you can see everything and how everything comes together. So, like I said, I'm going for that more open concept and look. Um, I do have um, some stickers that I want to use from Create 365. So I'm going to be using my farmhouse stickers as well as just a couple for my productivity. And they come into play, like I was saying, with really being able to maximize the space up here. So I'm going to add this one right in here. But what I want to do first is just get rid of these lines. And that's just so they don't ooh, shine through when I put the sticker down. Like a little extra effort goes a long way, trust me. There we go. Okay, so I thought it was really nice to start out the month with this. It says plan your dreams. And to carry that theme along, I'm putting this up the side here, which says think, dream, plan. Ha ha. Um, let's do it like right here, kind of middle-ish. There we go. There, yeah, 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 there we go. Perfect, perfect. And just a little extra inspo for the rest of the month. Here is a Be Brave. Bam. I get it done. I probably should have put that on. I just want to get just like some real inspo going. While also sticking with my colors, which are just to be bright and awesome, to be honest. Work hard and dream big. That gives me space there. Okay. 
I definitely love this one. It says be a goal digger. Yes. And this, this says confidence. Bam. All right. Well, no, I'm not finished, but on to the next sticker book. Ha ha. So now we're gonna get some things out of the farmhouse. And this is just gonna be to just keep it cute, really. So I have my inspiration down. Uh, I'm just gonna put a tad bit more. And then... So just a tad bit more inspiration. But I love to put something like, well actually, let's just do this. So I'm gonna make sure not to cover the holes, but we're definitely taking up that space right there. And then maybe just put one more. Something with a little more color to it. There we go. Today is a good day for a good day. Haha, ha, I like that. Bam. Alright. Here's some more wonderful inspo. So, now, just as a like little reminder of what I do in here. So my monthly spread, sorry, my monthly spread kind of works as my goal planner for um, my businesses. Now, I know you're like, okay, well they have goal planners, so why not just use a goal planner? I tried it. Believe you me, I have a goal planner sitting right now that only has one month used. Why is that? Because what I realized is not only did I not care for the layout that it had um, when it came to monthly, but I also didn't really need it. I mean, sorry, weekly, the layout that I had weekly, but I also really didn't need it on a weekly basis when it came to goals. So I wasn't writing down like, um, you know, how I achieved that goal today or the step I took to get that goal. I personally just needed my goals at a glance, to be honest. So I just needed to say, all right, so maybe here it was like, get all the planners done, you know, get your planner organized or organized for the month. I wasn't gonna write down on that day how I achieved that or the steps I took to achieve it. So I just needed a monthly glance to know that what was going on, what I needed to do, and where I wanted to be at the end of the month. And then when it came to my actual business planner, that's why I wrote down the, more so like the steps I took to get it done or how I stayed on track and things to focus on. So I figured why not just combine the two because basically I was using this, my business planner, month-wise, you know, kind of like a goal thing. Like I would put, you know, milestones down and things like that. Like, you know, when you reach certain milestones on social media or, you know, starting YouTube channels and things like that. So I was like, well, kind of seems like I'm already doing it here, but why not amp it up a little bit and add a little more to it. So that's what I have been doing. There we go. I think that was cute like that. Ha <laughs> ha. So, granted, I try not to take up too much today so I can write things down, but I do love the pops of inspiration all over as well as the plan your dreams at the top. So, with that said, I am done, truthfully, um, with this. 
So I have exactly what I need going on. I have the space I need to be able to write things down and to keep track of it as the month goes along. And then, like I said, during the weekly spreads is where I write down things that I'm doing to not only stay on track, but to make sure I'm taking the proper steps to achieve those goals. I thank you very much for joining me um, and listening to my craziness as well as helping me create. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop a comment below. If you feel more comfortable, send me an email. Uh, my email is plansonplanning at gmail.com. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Hit the follow button, then go a little further up. Hit the send message, slide in my DM, and let's get to chit chatting that way. But in the meantime, in between time, later days. Thank you.